Hey everyone, it's Emily and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing another not so berry update and I have done a lot since last time. In my opinion, we are almost done with the orange generation, but here is Lily looking super confident. Don't know what's gotten into her, but that's interesting. So there she is. I also want to show you her outfits because I have given her a few new ones. This is a new shirt that I got recently. I went a CC shopping and downloaded a bunch of new stuff because the other week I decided to delete a lot of my custom content and then by doing that I ended up deleting a lot of meshes of other things that I wanted and then I just kind of cleared out a bunch of things so I have been shopping recently and have new things and she has one new outfit this is kind of her new sleepwear actually yeah her sleepwear is totally different than it used to be she's got my Christmas socks that I've been putting on literally every sim and these shorts Urban Sims started making custom content so I have been downloading a bunch of her stuff that she's put out so far and those shorts are one of the things that she's made they're kind of like Christmassy themed so I'm very into the Christmas stuff for this last week before Christmas <laughs> and um, what do I want to do now I guess I should go over what I've done uh, I probably won't play with this family very much on camera today on I always say camera, but this isn't a camera. This is like a screen recording. Okay, um, whatever. <laughs> but we have finally maxed the criminal career and I keep forgetting that it's even the criminal career because she has to do so much programming because she's in this like oracle branch thing and we have maxed the career that just happened. She's now sleeping well, well deserved um, sleep after maxing her career and she's about to become an elder today crazy I know and then I'm gonna have her retire so that's exciting but we have maxed the charisma skill now and we are at level 9 of baking we are 1% complete and I'm probably gonna have her age up to an elder later today and you'll see that at the beginning of next week I don't have very many clips to show at the beginning of this week just because I was kind of just focusing on playing with these sims I did take Lily out to meet some friends she has a new friend named Aurora I want to say where is she there she is aurora i gave her a makeover she's a pizza delivery specialist so pizza girl that's wonderful she's our friend and then we also have this like kind of almost friend named april and yeah i think that's all i have for her i just took her on some outings and then petunia's been getting really upset recently and i don't know why it's like she always has to go to the bathroom like it constantly she like walks around being a little sad and she has the leash thought bubble thing and it's really annoying, and I don't know if it's just because she's stressed because Lily is always at work, but I had Lily take the day off, and she's going to take Petunia to the dog park today. So there's that. But going back to Autumn, her skills. So we just have baking left, and we've mastered criminal career, charisma skill, and we finished the public enemy aspiration forever ago. She lived in her needs TLC apartment, and she had twins, and she also insists on being evil, whatever. That's the last little bullet point we had to hit. We have done everything now except mastering baking. Oh my god, I am so done with this stupid baking skill. You bake one thing and you get like five percentage points of a skill. So I finally caved and I bought the baking skill book. And she's been reading that a little bit. But that's still super slow because skill books are just slower than actually doing it. But it takes so long, like, the bo I thought the bowling skill took a long time to build up, but that's only five levels, so to max the bowling skill is not too bad. To max the baking skill is ridiculous, <laughs> and I'm so over it, but I'm going to probably just have her do that literally all day, and eventually she will finally max it. So by next week, we'll have that done. Now that I'm not in school, I can play this family all the time. Not an issue. We're going to get it done. <laughs> next time, it will be all pink generation things, and I'll probably probably have her moved into her own house. Actually, I renovated. Okay, so I built this sugar plum fairy Christmas house thing that was for the pink generation. I made it with Lily in mind and just everything that the pink generation needs to accomplish. There's like a little office for being a writer and all that type of stuff, but I don't think I'm actually going to play in that house just because it's very expensive and I do want some realism in there. I will cheat a little bit for money, but the amount that I would have to cheat to move her into that house right now is ridiculous. <laughs> so we're not going to do that. I actually renovated a different house that I built. I, there's a white cottage speed build on my channel and I renovated that and changed the siding to pink and I completely, I placed it 
on a smaller lot as unfurnished and then I just decorated it how I wanted it to. She's going to be living in Windenburg most likely because I wanted her to live in an apartment in the city originally because I felt like she'd be like a business professional living in the city. But I changed my mind because she does have a dog and I feel like she would want to have a yard and she's supposed to have a well-maintained garden as an adult or just in general. I think it, yeah, it just says have a well-maintained garden. We already have some a packet of seeds that someone got for a birthday or something. So we have some starter fruits, so I'm going to have her plant those in her new house. But I felt like because of all those things, she would just kind of want to live in a house. And she's very neat and organized, so I think that she would enjoy being able to keep up her own house. And Windenburg seemed like a good option to me because there's all the downtown stuff. Like there's tons of nightclubs and things to do around there. I do have a spa placed in Newcrest because I'm playing in Lil Simsy's save file that she made. I put that in the link of all my Not So Very Challenge videos just because I do always play in that save file and I feel like I should give her credit for that. And yeah, I definitely recommend if you aren't playing in her save file and you're annoyed with community lots and that type of thing, especially if you have all the packs and you feel like some things just look kind of empty, definitely download it, figure out how to put it in your game. She has like a very detailed instructions on how to do it and it. I think she has like a whole video where she explains how to do it, not even just written instructions to follow. So yeah, you can go look that up. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy playing in that and where was I? Why did I even talk about that? Oh, because the spa. So since she's supposed to max the wellness skill, I have been having her do yoga. So now I guess I'll move on to her skills now. But she's at level four of wellness. She has her little mat out here. But in her new house, the <laughs> I basically furnished the kitchen and bathroom and then I put a little bit of furniture in the living room but it's mostly just a yoga mat and a meditation thing <laughs> and then I figured that I would take all of her bedroom furniture here and put it in her new house so I didn't furnish a bedroom but I did give her a new desk I want to say kind of like maybe someone left a desk with the house because desks are kind of big and I could see someone doing that especially if someone's like renting a house or something. Um, I don't know. I just put a desk in the house. So she'll be moving all of her stuff to that new desk. And she has the science computer now because we got this fancy computer for getting to the top of the criminal career in the Oracle branch. So yeah, her mom has this computer and she got handed down the sciencey one. So that's pretty cool. She's going to end up getting a writing. No, she's not because she's in the, she's in the business career, not the writer career, never mind. So yeah, she has the fun science computer. <laughs> and what else do I need to go over for her? Oh, I can tell you what level her career is. She's at business level four. She started off at level two because she had a B in high school. So she got to skip the first, um, whatever, like tier or level of the career. And she has written for one hour while inspired. And she's in the middle of writing a book, actually. She's writing a book of short stories, which I feel like kind of makes sense just in her spare time to be writing some short stories if she enjoys writing. So if she's working on that, she is getting up her satisfaction point. So I'm probably going to use it to buy her the steel bladder trait because I always, that's the first one I go for. And I like having that so my Sims don't have to go to the bathroom as much because I'm lazy and I also don't feel like installing mods to cheat their needs all the time. I feel like it's just better to use in-game rewards to get those types of traits and make my life easier that way. So I like to do that. And what else? Hmm. Okay, yeah, she has to have a well-maintained garden, and then she has to quit her day job as an adult to pursue her dreams, and she is, how close to being an adult? She has 18 days, so she has a while. Um, I'm not too concerned about that. I'm also not too focused on finding her a love interest right now, because she is unflirty, and I feel like she just wouldn't be interested in that while she's trying to get to the top of her career. I think once she gets to level seven or eight of the career, I might have her date someone or like think about dating someone. I might have mentioned this last time, but yeah, I think once she gets to seven or eight in her career, we'll start exploring that option, which will probably be 
by the time she's about to age up to an adult, and I feel like that makes sense. But I do want her to have kids shortly after she becomes an adult, but I don't think that she'll be having any kids before then because she is unflirty. So yeah, that's that's how I'm playing this generation. But then Peach is the next generation. I don't I don't know why I'm getting into the Peach. I'm not going to get into the Peach generation. I'm just looking at it because it's on my screen off to the side. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. <laughs> Every time I go to decorate a pink room, I always end up looking at peach swatches, and I did that a lot when I was dressing her for stuff, especially because you have orange, pink, and peach, and those are all kind of similar color palettes, so when you filter by color, sometimes peach stuff shows up in pink and in orange, and I've seen so many peach things in the game that I'm like, oh, I want to use this now because it's kind of orange or it's kind of pink, but it's more peach, and I'd rather just save it for the peach generation, so I'm looking forward to being able to use all of these items that I've seen for the past two generations and haven't been able to use yet, and I also... Um, I never use, there's like certain CC hair recolors that are in a certain palette and I don't like them very much, but there is a peachy swatch in that palette, so I think that I'll be able to finally use some of these hairs in the certain palette. I can't remember what it's called, I wish I did, but I'll let you know whenever the peach generation finally comes around, because I'll be able to use those colored hairs, and it's very exciting. So stay tuned for that in forever when she finally ages up to an adult and has kids. I'm kind of looking forward to playing with a single sim for a while, especially once we move her into her own house. I think that she might get another dog, like a big dog, but I'm not sure. Petunia's been kind of weird recently, so I want to keep an eye on her and make sure she's doing okay and that we have enough time for her. But ooh, maybe when we get to be an adult and we have her quit her job to become a writer, she can get another dog because she'll just be at home writing all the time and she can take care of both of the dogs. It'll be good. So yeah, I think that's a good plan. <laughs> and I think that I moved, what's his, uh, Timmy Turner. How could I forget Timmy Turner? I think I moved him out last time. So if I didn't, there's that. Timmy's gone. <laughs> Timmy lives in a house kind of nearby, actually. I want to say he's like, I think this is his house. Yeah, visit Timmy Turner. That's his house. <laughs> so he's pretty close to his mom, which will be good. I think that... I feel like I'm saying I think a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> but Lily is going to move to Windenburg, but we will have Autumn and Paul join her when they get close to dying, just so you know me and keeping all the tombstones. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to make sure they're in our household so that we don't lose any of these um, things that are very important to me. <laughs> and I'm probably going to have to move the whole family and then cheat her money down and move these two back into this house because I will be taking all these paintings and everything that we've acquired and like this this plaque and that type of stuff I'll be taking with us because they are our family heirloom type of things and I don't want to lose them because I moved a sim out <laughs> so that will all be coming with us even if it just stays in our inventory because her house is going to be pretty small but I'm looking forward to playing with her on her own and I hope that you enjoyed this quick little update and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more of these not so berry updates every Monday. But I hope you're having a great day and that's all I've got this week. Bye! Okay, I'm dumb. I actually forgot to show you her two new outfits or I think I think she only has one new outfit and I kind of already went over her sleepwear and that was her only other new outfit. So I'm just going to go into her, her other everyday wear that I added because I think it's really cute and I'm excited about it but yeah whoops forgot to show you that and I said that I would also I changed my background from the white cast background to this other one once again I have been downloading a bunch of uh, CC that Urban Sims has made recently and she made some cool backgrounds so I downloaded that and I'm liking it it's less harsh on my eyes but this is her new everyday wear that I added she looks very nice I think that she needed a more casual pair of jeans because the only one that she had that was ripped before was in her party wear. It's still very pink and stuff, but I wanted her to be in a more muted one just for winter and that type of thing. But I think it looks really good, especially because with her other outfits, I feel like this is very much her trying to be a business person and be professional. And this is more of what she would want to wear every day. And then this one is also still her kind of trying to be professional, but still trying to be comfortable. And this is just 
what she would wear if she wanted to all the time. So I think that even as she is only in the fourth level of her career, she's getting to be more herself and doesn't care quite as much about always looking super put together, even though she still looks pretty put together here in my opinion, but this is just like a lot. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of where I'm going with her. I think that she'll evolve more into herself as we get further in her career and she might realize that it's not so much for her, and she wants to focus more on her writing and wellness. So I'm excited about that. Oh, also, I forgot we have to complete the postcard collection. I've been having a weird glitch where every time I go to find a pen pal, it'll say, oh, check back later, whatever, um, to see if anyone has seen your request on the forum. And then I'll click on the computer and usually it says check for pen pal or something after you've requested or you've clicked on the find pen pal thing. But if you click on uh, check pen pal forum or something too soon, it'll just give you a thing that says like check back later. It's not, it hasn't been enough time yet. And then you just check back later and you'll get a request or like notification thing. But it has just been still giving me the find pen pal option. It never says check forum. So that's really frustrating. I only have two postcards left, but I'm hoping that maybe when she moves lots, it'll fix that glitch, but we'll see. Um, she's been do having weird toddler walking glitches too. So if you've had that in your game, let me know because I can't be the only one that's having this weird toddler walking glitch. I've seen some other people have it. Like I think Kiwi Siming had it in her game. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's a real problem, <laughs> but I, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. And I think that I have done enough rambling for the end of this video. But once again, hope you had a great day. This is actually all I've got today. And thanks for watching. Bye!